Hey puppy, you want to be in today's video? Or you just want to lounge out here? Hey Alfred, you want to be in? <laughs> you want to be in today's video, honey? I don't. I don't know what that means. Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and that was Puppy and Alfred. And today we are going to talk about how chicken gizzards can fit into your homemade raw cat food, or more specifically, if you can substitute the chicken hearts in the recipe with chicken gizzards. If you are new to this channel and into kitty nutrition, especially raw cat food, and all kinds of other cute cat stuff, as well as things for humans like fitness and workouts, nutrition, stress management, and whatever else I feel like posting. Then feel free to click that little subscribe button below to join the Cat Lady Fitness family here on YouTube, as well as that little bell icon right next to it so that you get notified whenever new videos come out. Or if you are on Facebook, just make sure to follow our page Cat Lady Fitness because we do put out a new video every catter day as well as fun little things sprinkled throughout the week. And it's been a hot minute since I did one of these sit down and talk to you videos. So right now I'm going to catch up with the meow out of the week with two of you who are awesome and those two would be Dusty the Cat and Lee MS. Thank you both so much for your engagement in the comments and for liking the videos and for sharing. I appreciate you so so much and for anybody else if you would potentially like to be the next meow out of the week then all you have to do is just make sure you have subscribed to this channel and then leave a little comment below and you can possibly be picked for the meow out of our next video all right so let's get started with the basics which is asking the question what are gizzards unsurprisingly a lot of people don't really know what a gizzard is probably because humans don't have them. The gizzard is a muscular organ in the stomach of some animals, including chickens, that's used to grind food down into tiny particles to get ready for further digestion. Believe it or not, having a gizzard actually makes the digestive system of birds one of the most efficient digestive systems in any animal in the animal kingdom. And when you see chickens pecking on the ground and ingesting those little pieces of gravel or stones or grit, those are actually functional because they lodge in the chicken's gizzard and that is what grinds up the food before it continues to travel down the digestive tract. Note that when it comes to raw feeding or raw cat food, the chicken gizzard is actually considered a muscle meat along with the chicken hearts and the chicken thighs. This is as opposed to the chicken livers or kidneys, which are considered secreting organ meats. And in case you were wondering, well, do just chickens have gizzards? What other animals have gizzards? Well, other animals include reptiles like alligators and crocodiles, crustaceans and fish like mullet and trout. Now the actual gizzard and the structure of the gizzard has a very thick and muscular wall. Each gizzard needs to be cut open and cleaned of all of those stones and grit. It also has this thick layer of fat around it that needs to be peeled off and removed. Then the gizzards and any giblets need to be cleaned, washed, and sanitized before being packaged and ready for the store. By the way, a little fun fact for you, those little baggies of giblets, if you get a whole chicken or a whole turkey, those giblets in particular are not from that specific animal you're buying necessarily, and actually in most cases they're not, especially if you're purchasing any mass-produced commercial brand poultry. And speaking of giblets, another question that I've commonly gotten is, what exactly are giblets? What's the difference between giblets and gizzards? Well, giblets are just the name of a group of organs. So the giblets in that little baggie can include hearts and kidneys and the chicken liver and yes, gizzards. Now when it comes to the texture of the gizzard when it's actually being eaten, perhaps unsurprisingly, because gizzards are a pretty hard working muscle within 
the chicken's body, it tends to be tougher or chewier. So really eating raw gizzards can be beneficial for your cat, not only because of the nutrients that they provide, but it provides your cat with the opportunity to actually chew a little bit and to use their jaw muscles and even to help with their dental health because it could potentially scrape off or rub off excess tartar from their teeth. So you can certainly cut the gizzards into half or quarters to give your cat a little snack sometimes. Now when it comes to including chicken gizzards in your raw cat food, and more specifically the recipe on catladyfitness.com, even though your cat can certainly benefit from all of the nutrients that chicken gizzards do provide, the gizzards alone cannot replace chicken hearts in your raw cat food. As a lot of you may know, one of the key components in chicken hearts is the nutrient taurine. Taurine is extremely vital to your cat's health and if you haven't seen it already, I have a trilogy of videos entitled The Importance of Taurine. Hello, Alfred. You are not camera shy like your brother. Would you like to say hello? So if you haven't seen that trilogy about taurine, then I will put a link in the description below to my cat stuff playlist because that's where you will find a ton of videos about everything raw cat food and nutrients and most common questions. But it also includes the importance of taurine trilogy. And it is so important that I actually had to make three videos to cover how important it is. So make sure that you go check that out. So yes, the importance of this nutrient taurine is the main reason why gizzards can't just replace hearts in our raw cat food recipe. As convenient as that would obviously be since most stores don't sell hearts on their own and actually sell the hearts and the gizzards kind of tandem packed together, if you were to try and simply replace the hearts with the gizzards in the recipe, you're also potentially setting your cat up for a deficiency in this vital nutrient. Here's the thing about taurine though, and this is honestly also one of the reasons why it's taken me a hot minute to put out this video to answer this question. It is nearly seemingly impossible to find out exactly how much taurine is in raw chicken hearts or raw chicken gizzards or raw chicken thighs or basically anything we use in the recipe with the exception of the supplemental taurine obviously since we just measured that out even in the nutrient list provided and presented directly from the usda database out of all of the different macro and micronutrients that are measured and shared there you can see that taurine is not one of them and yes this is considering the fact that taurine can go by multiple different names and none of those names are on this database. The closest thing that I did find that legitimately documented the taurine content of something to do with chicken was this table from a 1994 study by the Asia Pacific Journal of Clinical Nutrition entitled Dietary Protein Amino Acids and Their Relation to Health. And all this shows is that in 100 grams of chicken leg, it contains 378 milligrams of taurine. Presumably it's raw chicken leg, but I couldn't even decipher that much. And still, it's not exactly what we're looking for here. And even though it's safe to assume that gizzards do have a, a pretty good amount of taurine, considering that they are a hardworking muscle, and taurine has its highest concentration in the muscles that work the hardest. We can also therefore assume that because the heart is the hardest working muscle in the body, that the chicken hearts contain a substantially higher amount of taurine. All of that said, you're probably still wondering, well, can I use these gizzards in the recipe? And the answer is yes. One of the reasons why is, especially after removing that outer layer of fat from the gizzards, which should automatically be done when you purchase them at the store, that reduces any potential risk of a toxicity in any kind of fat soluble vitamin, which is one of the reasons why chicken livers, which are super high in vitamin A, 
definitely can't replace the hearts either, but I talk about that in a different video. Basically, since we're looking at the chicken gizzards here as simply another main muscle meat, here's what you can do if you can only find those tandem packages that include the hearts with the gizzards. First of all, look at these two pictures here and make sure you can tell the difference between what a heart looks like and what a gizzard looks like. I know that might seem like a, a somewhat obvious statement, but you guys, a lot of people have never made raw cat food before and have never even seen a chicken heart or a gizzard before, so just take heed. Then all you have to do is separate the gizzards from the hearts and include the gizzards in the total weight of your muscle meat. And you can do this using the recipe calculator on catladyfitness.com. So once you calculate this, into the recipe calculator, you just have to scroll down, check out the taurine and multiply that number by 0.5. Then you just wanna add that much more supplemental taurine into the recipe in addition to the amount that is shown. Although there's obviously gonna be a disparity between some of the nutrients because hearts and gizzards are completely different organs. Adding this much more taurine, if you're going the tandem gizzards and heart route, acts as an insurance in a way that there's enough of it in your raw cat food to avoid a deficiency. Because remember, even though the chicken hearts provide a lot of benefit from a lot of nutrients, the most essential one, arguably, is the taurine. That said, if for some reason you only have gizzards or just maybe that giblet package and don't have any hearts at all, then I suggest you go to watch my video, Can You Make Raw Cat Food Without Hearts?, which I will link in the description below as well. And I think this is a tip worth mentioning again, even though I have a few times before, but Remember, you can request chicken hearts at your local grocery store. I know that in uh, the United States, Publix and Kroger and Lucky's Market, they all take special requests for special orders for certain items if you simply go to their customer service desk. Not only that, but in my experience, any markets that typically cater to the Latino or ethnic demographics always seem to carry chicken hearts because it's oftentimes a traditional part of their cuisine. See if you can find a, a good local pulperia or some kind of Asian market or even a Bravo supermarket. I've always had luck. If there's been a Bravo around, they've always carried chicken hearts. All right, guys, I hope that you found this video interesting or helpful and that it cleared up not only the function of the chicken gizzard as an organ, but also what to do if you were using chicken gizzards in the mix when making homemade raw cat food. Hey, Alfred. You wanna say bye with me? You wanna say hi? Okay, Alfred. Okay, he's a shoulder cat. Alfred says, please click the thumbs up below because that helps the algorithm work its magic to where more people get to see this channel and learn about raw cat food. Oh my gosh, you have my hair on your face. Why are you looking at me like that? What's the matter? No, honey. No. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.